Hey, this is Matthew. Welcome back to Nerd News Today. We are continuing our look at phase one of the alternation action figures from Pandemony Toys. This is the initial launch wave of these figures. We met the owner of the company, Ryan, at Toy Fair 2020, and he was nice enough to send us the entire first wave to review and showcase here on our channel for you guys. And today we've got another one of the larger scale figures of the group. Uh, possibly the largest, actually, if we totally stand him up on his hind legs here, but we'll get to that. Today we're looking at Dart. And if you've been watching our other alternation reviews by now, you'll know that these characters are all human-animal hybrids. And in particular, Dart here, well, I'm pretty sure you can figure out what he is rather quickly. He's a frog. He's a bunch of different frogs, in fact. He's an amalgamation of many amphibians, but we'll talk about what those frogs are in a moment. First things first, let's talk about this packaging here. It's an enormous box. Uh, it is a hexagon shape like all the other boxes we've seen from alternation toys. Here's a look at the sunroof on top. So on one side here, we've got a two panel illustration of Dart, as well as a little bit more about what he's got, which includes backflip action. Cannot wait to try that out. Squishy skin and a collectible Dart mini comic. But as you can see, as we turn this guy, he's got a little bit more than just that in there. Uh, this side reminds us of the free graphic novel and the webisodes on alternation.toys and a look at who is in phase one, as well as who's gonna be coming up in phase two, the bad guys. The back of the box here has Nice looking fun puzzle. I'm really digging the fun puzzles on the back of these boxes. Great for kids and good throwback for adults like me. Good reminder of some fun toys back in the day. We have an excellent bio about this character. Lots of information about him and the animal it's based on. And then on this side here, we get a little bit more information about what his superpowers are, as well as what hybrid, as well as what combinations he's got in him, which is a dart frog, a bullfrog, and a tree frog. So yeah, lots of frogs. And also a little bit about his loadout on the very bottom there, but we're gonna take a look at that as we actually get him out of the box. So speaking of, let's get Dart out of there. So one of the things we've noted with all the alternation figures and their packaging is that it is very, very collector friendly. Just wanted to showcase this off again. So once you take him out of the box, which is easily resealable, easy to close back up, he comes in his own separate blister, which you can again seal up just like we've seen with diamond statues and a lot of other toys in that higher end area. So. Yeah, good for loose collectors and box collectors and people who are hybrids want to do a little bit of both. All right, here's our look at Dart now out of the packaging. He is a very, very large figure, as you can see here. For comparison, I'm going to bring in Albert Seven, who's one of the smallest characters. So you can see just how much bigger Dart is compared to him. And he takes up a lot more space even if it's on our display stand. And I've also got Quilroy next to us in the effect, so we can see how he looks next to Quilroy. And they're, they're both pretty large scale figures. So yeah, that's a big, big guy. So I'm a fan of frogs, they're one of my favorite animal species, and especially this style of Amazonian, kind of like dart frogs, the poisonous frogs. They're adorable, they're cute, and they can kill you. What else do you want from a frog? So as far as I'm concerned, they've got all the colors down, they've got the look of this down. It looks like a frog, but a frog who's a hybrid with a human, because of course it's got cargo shorts. That's how you know it's a human. But in all seriousness, I do think it's a really great face here. It's got an adorable little frog face to him. Look how happy he is, he's so happy to be here. Uh, I like his headphones, I like his colors. I like a lot of things about this toy, just to begin with. It's a very good looking action figure, and it does have 15 points of articulation, but really it, it's still very limited because of his stance and what he does. So the 15 points do include his head, which does turn. His shoulders do have some movement. They're a little stiff, but they do move. Uh, we've got actually a double jointed elbow, which is nice. The wrists can move. The knees bend also. The legs have some movement, but really that's more about getting him into his action pose. So that's how we lose some of that down there. I'm gonna try and do the action pose right now. See if we can do this. I think it's like this. Yeah, here we go. All right. I just knocked off half my stuff on my table, but all right, now that I know how to do this, I can do this a little bit better. Here we go. Let's get this action feature done right now because we're doing it. Why the heck not? Huh, not bad. So Dart's supposed to do a full backflip. I think it's gonna be a little bit harder for him to do it on this display, especially the way I've got him set up here. Let's see if I can do this and get a better one off him. Wow, okay. I don't know how much how the camera caught. I'm gonna have to do another take later. He did like three flips in the air. That was kind of nuts. All right, Dart, you've just won me over. <laughs> that was amazing. So yeah, in addition to that sick, sick backflip, which I'm gonna hopefully have better footage of here, Dart also includes a different texture on his skin. He's got, again, a glossier finish, similar to El Rey, but not quite as aquatic and goopy. In fact, uh, here is El Rey side by side, so you can kind of see what I'm talking about here. So El Rey's skin tone is a little bit shinier, a little bit more like it's been underwater, whereas Dart's skin tone is not quite as glossy as El Rey's, but does have a different kind of feel, different sheen to it, as opposed to other characters who had more of a matte finish. So I like that attention to detail and that nice little change in the character. We also have some squishy frog skin up here, which apparently when you move them around, actually can bulge and move around with them. Uh, that's, that's bizarre and 
neat little thing there. But yeah, as for the rest of the figure, it's got good sculpting. I didn't even realize he had a six pack under there. Jeez, this frog is ripped. He's got good articulation. I've been told he can also do a handstand. And as folks who watch our channel know, typically uh, getting any characters to do anything on our table is typically a fight. But uh, let's see if we can get him to do the handstand here. Now I'll have to do it somewhere else. Oh, wow, I actually got it. <laughs> he is doing a fall on handstand. He is bouncing on his hands. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like we looked at the Diamond Select Beast figure a few months back. We had a lot more of a harder time getting to stand on its hands than the start figure does. Wow, got him to stand almost immediately. That's great. So in addition to doing backflips, in addition to standing on his hands, Dart also has a few accessories. His feet turn too, didn't just realize that now. In terms of accessories, he comes with a frog grip bola and a hyperflex boomerang, as well as his favorite action figure of his favorite comic character, Iron Stomach. So yes, he actually comes with a mini action figure. That is some meta stuff right there. And he can apparently hold all these things in his hands. Despite them being all funky looking, he can actually still hold his accessories, I've been told. Let us find out if that's true. All right, well, so far, yeah, he can hold Iron Stomach. That much is true. Can he hold the boomerang in his hand? Or how would he hold the boomerang is a better question. Looks like you can actually get it to go into that spot there, maybe. There you go, you can put that between his fingers. Now he's holding the boomerang accessory. And the frog grip bola. How does this work? Well, I think I just answered that pretty quickly. You just put it through his fingers and now he's got his bola whip. Oh, <laughs> wow. I, I love these accessories. Like, you know, this reminds me of the barbell flail that came with Quilroy. These are really great fun accessories. And I like the fact that he can actually hold them because he is a character here at Dart with some very bizarre shapes to him, very unique features. But fact of the matter is, he's actually holding on to all the stuff, and I gotta really give props to them for doing that. So in terms of posability, Dart is very limited because he is a frog. He's in this frog stance permanently, but that's not a bad thing either. You know, basically this whole line is all humanoid bipedal characters standing off their legs. It's actually pretty nice to have a character that doesn't. It helps them stand out, it reminds us that they are hybrids. And this hybrid here just happens to be a lot more like an amphibian than he does a human. Really great paint job. Love the accessories. I love the fact that he can actually hold the accessories, even with these weird hands. I love the handstand. I love the backflip. Oh my God, I'm gonna be freaking out about that backflip for ages. Dart is a really good one. You know, I was actually a little bit worried about this character because I was thinking he wouldn't be as strong compared to the others because look at his shape. He's just such a bizarre looking character, but no, everything he does makes him really stand out, makes him very unique. This is a great entry into the alternation line. Really digging this one, and I think you guys will too. So if you want to learn more about Alternation Toys, visit alternation.toys. That's easy enough. You could read their free graphic novel, check out their webisodes, or hey, order some action figures if you want. So we got two more figures to go as we wrap up the Phase 1 Alternation characters. So stick around tomorrow for another figure from this wave. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss that or other videos and toy reviews that we do here on Nerd News Today. So until next time, I'm Matthew, and we'll see you guys here tomorrow with the character that I think is actually my favorite of the bunch based on what I saw at Toy Fair. We're gonna see if he holds up now. So stick around, I think you're not gonna wanna miss this one coming up tomorrow.